What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to episode 89 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. So if you guys want to participate, you know what to do. Make sure to watch the video linked down below. As always, if you guys want to participate in this week's giveaway from Nice and enter for a chance to win either a keyboard, mouse, headset or anything really featured in this episode, then all you guys have to do is watch this episode on the app, which I'll link down below and add any product you guys want to win to your wish list. That's very simple to do. Link is down below. Also guys, there was a new feature on the app Nice where you can actually vote on the setups and you guys can check the real time vote count and you can see who's winning in first place or in second and third and so on. So that's a pretty cool feature. But with that said, let's go ahead and begin the show. If you guys are shopping around for your next game, make sure to check out G2A.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available for pretty much any game. I'll drop a link to them down below if you want to check it out. So first up we have Asil and his symmetrical triple display setup. There's a 24 inch LG monitor up top and two 27 inch Dell monitors under that. Looks like the top monitor is mounted against the wall while the other two are hooked up using the Arctic Z2 desk mount. Speaking of the desk, he is using the popular IKEA Lenman tabletop with the Alex drawer add-on. The only thing he did differently is that he added a custom black glass cover on top to change the look. The only negative thing about that is that you won't be able to drill any holes through the desk which actually worked out for Asil since he's using a wireless keyboard and mouse from Logitech. For audio, he has a pair of Philips speakers and the Sony MDR headphones hanging from the side of his PC. It looks like the color scheme is mostly black with some red accents and you can tell from the ring color on the speakers, the 3D printed vape stand and of course the parts inside the PC. There's a 3570K and a GTX 770 that's powering his setup. Cable management is pretty much flawless, everything is neatly organized and tied together under the desk, I have no complaints. On the opposite side of his setup is Asil's action figure collections and it looks like he's a huge fan of Marvel. If the giant Captain America shield in between the two Marvel posters didn't give it away, then this sure as hell does. Stepping into the next room is where you will find an L-shaped couch, some more superhero posters on the wall, and a 46 inch Samsung TV mounted against the wall. It looks like it's connected to his PC judging by the wallpaper, and I'm guessing it's used for streaming and watching videos. A very sick setup indeed, thank you Asil for entering. Next up is Armin with a white and black gaming setup on top of the IKEA backhand desk. I've seen quite a few setups with monitors in these positions, and I've always assumed that they are either for programmers or graphic designers, but if you guys position your monitors vertically as well, let me know what you use it for in the comment section down below. I'm kinda interested to find out. So he's rocking a 27 inch Asus on the left and a 24 inch Acer on the right, both of which are hooked up to a desk mount. The keyboard of choice is the Corsair Strafe RGB with Cherry MX silent switches and custom white keycaps paired with a white SteelSeries Rival 300 mouse. Audio wise, he's wearing the Astro A50s that are resting on a clear headphone hanger and he also has the JBL Charge 2 Plus speaker. A few other things on the desk include a wireless Qi charger from Samsung and the Teotronics Elune desk lamp, both of which are in white to match the color scheme of the entire setup. Nice work. On the right side of the desk is the PC which is equipped with an FX8350 and an R9390. All backhand desks come with a net underneath the table which makes cable management very easy and it also looks like Armin hooked up a channel raceway against the wall to route the cables in. Look how clean that looks, not a single wire is visible near the ground. Job well done, an excellent setup, thank you Armin for entering. At number 3 we have Daver with a pretty simple setup actually, he's only rocking a single 27 inch Samsung monitor that's in between two Atom A7X speakers. Other than the Cherry MX board, 6.0 keyboard and Logitech G900 Chaos Spectrum mouse, there's really nothing else on the desk. Well besides the DAC and amp for those headphones and speakers. The headphones, which are the Shure SRH 840s, appear to be on a dresser right next to him, and the PC is located under the desk. I mean, after all, it doesn't have a side window, so there's no need to keep it on top. But in here, you'll find the 5960X 8-core processor paired with the Asus Strix GTX 980 and 32 gigs of RAM, which leads me to believe that this is a productivity setup. The desk is custom made and behind the backboard he hooked up the IKEA Signum rack to hold up the cables so I don't have any complaints here. The only thing I would have loved to see on this already extremely clean setup was maybe a way to hide the keyboard wire but overall a very clean productivity setup, thank you Daver for entering. 
Here's a pretty cool black and red setup from Derek. So we have two 24 inch ASUS monitors, a Cooler Master Devastator 2 keyboard and mouse combo, and a JBL Creature 3 speaker system. The PC on the right side has a 4700 and a GTX 1060 from MSI, and topping off the setup is a rifle of some sort hanging right above. The cable management seems to be under control once again thanks to the IKEA Signum rack, so no complaints here. The only thing I would suggest is to find a way to hide the keyboard and mouse cables since they are a bit distracting. I would personally drill a hole in the desk for them, but it's your setup and your call. On the opposite side of the room is an awesome gaming and home theater setup with those surround sound speakers and projector. This definitely looks like a really cool place to chill with friends and have some fun. An awesome gaming room, no doubt. Thank you, Derek, for entering. Last but not least, we have Emil and his new setup. Looks like he has majorly improved from last time. So he got rid of his monitor stands and mounted his 27-inch Samsung monitors against the wall and got an entirely new desk from Ikea. And because of this, he was able to put his PC on the surface instead of keeping it on the ground. Everything else is pretty much the same. You got the Corsair K70 keyboard, SteelSeries rival mouse, and the Razer Firefly mouse pad. Actually, I believe the headset is also different. He's using a black and red AKG headphones, while last time it was a pair of white headphones. As always, cable management is on point, not only for the setup, but for his PC as well, which still has the same specs, a 4790K and a GTX 970. Email had a great setup before, and now it's even better with all of the new equipment. As always, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much for entering. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. Make sure you guys drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. As always, the winners will be announced on my social media platforms. And also, guys, there's a new live voting feature within the app nice you guys can actually vote on your favorite setup within that and also the winners will be announced in the app as well via push notifications thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video